In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon his last and love Messenger Muhammad, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all. This is an episode in a series entitled Reflections from the Guidance of the Quran, and it's entitled An Advice for People Who Propagate the Faith of Islam. Now, in this series of episodes, I put forward um, a scenario or something that I saw or heard in my life and how to reflect upon it from the guidance of the last revelation of Allah God to be with the Quran. Now in this episode today, we have the something I noticed in this month of Ramadan. I noticed that a lot of people are talking about religion of Islam and trying to convey the message to people and a lot of um, TV stations and radio stations uh, propagating the word of Islam. But if it's time to think about, evaluate the potency of this action. Now, if we think about people today, we see that people are getting worse with regards to religion. They are, driving, they are being driven more uh, away and away from the path of Allah God Almighty. They have more resentment for religion. They uh, do more crimes, more perverted sexual acts. They are going um, in the wrong path more and more. So I stopped and think about, thought about this. Now we have a lot of propagation work, a lot of people calling people to the path of Allah God Almighty, but at the same time people are going in the opposite direction. So we see that this act of propagation uh, it's having the opposite effect. So we need to stop it now and reevaluate and um, evaluate the potency of these actions. Like, for example, a doctor when he administers uh, medicine for a patient. Now, if the pain increases, then the doctor stops and thinks and analyzes the situation. So we need to analyze what's happening now. Why are people getting worse? They are doing more crimes, uh, they are going away from Allah God Almighty, they are going away from Islam, and yet there is an increase in the propagation work. Now, I thought about this. Now, from the guidance of the Quran, not from my guesswork and conjecture, from the, what Allah God Almighty teaches me in the Quran. And I would like to share that with you. Now, if we think about the Quran, Allah the Almighty gives us the reason for this. He gives us actually three main reasons in the Quran, if we think about it deeply. The first reason why people are getting worse today with regards to religious values and um, coming closer to Allah the Almighty. Firstly, that Allah in the Quran, He warned us about an enemy more than 60 times. Allah in the Quran mentioned this enemy more than 60 times. And this enemy is Satan. Allah the Almighty warned us about Satan more than 60 times in the Quran. And He taught us that Satan, He tries to nullify everything that Allah the Almighty sends down. He tries to divert people from the path of Allah the Almighty. He tries to uh, make people commit sinful acts, crimes, perverse sexual acts, uh, blasphemy, all of these kind of acts. Now, in order to understand this more and more, we need to understand how does Satan affect us. Of course, this topic I talked about so many times in my lectures, but I will give a summary here. Now, Allah teaches us in the Quran how does Satan affect each and every one of us. It goes as follows. Firstly, that each and every one of us has a voice of oneself. And that's the voice you speak with, and it's the same voice you hear in your head when you are thinking quietly to yourself. And that's normal and that's the voice of oneself. Also we can learn from the Quran that each and every one of us has a companion devil. That is, when a person is born, a companion devil is assigned to him, and it stays with him till death. And also Allah teaches us how does this companion devil affect us. In the Quran, in chapter 17 verse 64, which states, and before them gradually, whom you can of them with your voice. So Allah teaches us that this companion devil, he tricks you 
befools you with his voice, meaning that he engages you in conversations and he tries to trick you and befool you with the thoughts contained in his voice. Now somebody might ask that I only hear the voice of myself, so what is this voice of Satan? Now Allah the one teaches us the answer for this in the Quran in, in chapter 114 verse 4 which states from the evil of the whisperer who hides. So the Almighty teaches us that this companion devil, he whispers to us, but at the same time he hides from us. So how can he whisper to you, talk to you, at the same time hide from you? The only way he can accomplish this is if he matches his voice. He makes his voice identical to the one you think with. So your companion devil makes his voice identical to the one you think with and hear in your mind. And you hear ideas in your mind, they pop up, they, these ideas they pop up in your mind. And you think that yourself is telling you this, when well, actually the companion devil. So having understood this, we come back to the why people are getting are getting um, are committing more crimes, uh, being driven more and more away from Allah God Almighty. Now, when the people who propagate the faith of Allah God Almighty they speak, Satan, this companion devil of every person, he whispers to him in the lecture and after the lecture giving him arguments after arguments to cancel, to nullify what the person has spoken. So for, for example, uh, you hear a lecture about um, how is that um, stealing is forbidden in Islam. Now this, your companion comes to you with a voice match the one you think with and he whispers eyes in my telling you like look this life is hard, so if you steal, you're just making ends meet, you're just uh, getting you know, a better life. So you see, he comes to you in the disguise of an advisor, as if he's advising you, but he wants to nullify, he wants to, cancel, he wants to uh, uh, abolish, he wants to destroy everything that Allah God Almighty sent down. So he, he's sitting in, in wait against people in the path of Allah God Almighty. He wants to drive people away from the Almighty and from the Quran. So this is the main reason why people, why there is no potency, there is no real potency when people talk about Islam. There is no real potency. Some individual cases may be, but as a whole of uh, people listening to the lecture, there is not much potency. So we need as an advice to my brothers and sisters who propagate the faith of Islam, you need in every lecture to tell people what I said about how Satan affects them in this scientific um, straightforward manner how does Satan affect them so you need as an advice from a person who cares about you you need to tell people that when you hear these voices by a, by a voice matching when you think well this is from, from Satan and explain to them what I said because if you don't do that you, you may talk to them for half an hour one hour, two hours but this occupying devil is with them 24 hours, 7 days a week every day but if you expose Satan, if you expose this enemy, then you will destroy him. You will expose, he, if you expose this enemy, then his, that, that person will know the source of these whispers and arguments that try to divert him away from the path of Allah God Almighty. So this is the first advice. The second advice, and the reason why people are being driven more away, away more and more from Allah God Almighty, is that when people talk about Islam, you have you get the sense is that they talk theoretical values, but they don't link it how to practice the religion. Most of what they talk about is theory, and in theory it's good, it's beautiful, but how to practice it? Now, in my website, I showed how to practice the Quran, how to practice the teaching of Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. So. In my website it showed how to do a PhD from the Quran, how to learn physics from the Quran, how to make discoveries from the Quran, meaning how to practice religion, how to make religion uh, is the base of your life, how to practice. Because we see Muslim youth, when they want to have a job, when they want to go to university, they go to, um, they don't really need, need religion. So if they don't need religion, so what's the use of it? So we need to change that. You need to show people how to practice the Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad and all of this is shown in my website. So please go to my website, learn this and teach it to people. You can feel then the potency. So for example when I showed one of my lectures how to do a PhD from the Quran, 
that has so much potency because the, he's doing a degree and he, he's doing it from the Quran so the Quran is helping him in his life so he will love the Quran you see how the logic goes now the third reason why people are going are, uh, are uh, being driven away from Allah Almighty is that they don't ponder and understand the Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad because Allah says in the Quran that we need to ponder and reflect upon the Quran you need to understand what you are saying because a lot of people who propagate the faith of Islam they are just talking words something they, they memorize they are just repeating it without really understanding it so you need to understand what you are saying and then convey to people the potency and the efficiency will increase so much in delivering the word of Allah God Almighty and how to understand the teachings of the Quran and Prophet Muhammad is very simple just by reflecting upon it why Allah used this word in that place why Allah linked that word to this one and please go to my website and see how to understand the Quran and the teaching of Muhammad and I'm saying this out of advice so that you will be more effective as a caller to the path of Allah the Almighty and to know more details about what I said please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon you all